Hello! Monsters are bound here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 11 of my Slostra Deal 4 campaign. I'm going to water resolve this battle because I tried it three times and every single time... <sighs> I, I did win, but it's evolved into such a fucking mess that you know what, I'm just... I'm just going to do that because I can't be bothered to deal with, with Slanesh's bullshit. To be honest, that's that's the reason. That's the reason. Because look at look at this look at this bullet. Look at this bollocks. You guys have got nothing better to do than attack me. Last time I lost my mind. And this time probably won't be much better. Anyway, so we are going to ooh, Do I need that? I mean pirate crew recruitment capacity. Do I need that many crew in my No, I don't need that many crew in my army. I'm not gonna do that. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. True. Come down here. How long have we got for the next thing? Eight turns. We've got the first the first sea shanty. It's exciting. And we can do sea shanties. They were big over COVID, weren't they? I believe. Or before. Sometime. No bigger sometime. I can't remember when. Doesn't really matter. Ah uh, Sheridan is getting a monkey jacket because I hear they're in this season and a blunderbuss and gun sight Admiral. okay if you ambush there you ambush there with any luck we'll we'll pull in some more armies because Karen Carr has defenses uh, black light tower. You know what? Let's get defenses for you. To be honest, defenses everywhere seem to be a good idea because the AI does not seem to want to leave me alone. They're being very persistently annoying, aren't they? Uh... Okay. You're not. Uh, you're not going to attack Karen Carr. You don't. You do not have the balls for it. Mate. Do not have the balls. This has my approval. Uh, do could we attack you? We could attack Valkyr. I need that would audience. pull it. No, they would. Think, the problem is they'd come from behind us, wouldn't they? Which would be a problem. Uh, this is. Is this my territory? Why is the vampire corruption enough? Well, it's quite high. Vampiric corruption is quite high. Other corruption is reducing it. We've got a seductive influence. A p oh, it's Sl it's Slanesh corruption. In wait, what? <laughs> Fuck. Why is Slanesh corruption increasing? Seductive influence. What? 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 All right. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lay siege. I'm just going to lay siege. That's right. Hey, motherfuckers. Where's Malekith? Where the f Malekith, where are you? Where, where have you gone? Where, where's Malekith? Is he dead? No, he's down here. Sure. But what, if your enemy is up here, right? What are you doing down here? I wish I, I wish it like told you what their intent like I know you can see the arrow and stuff that's fine but where where are you going why what is the plan here I don't understand uh I guess we'll go and resettle that I'm assuming all of the uh slanesh armies have just evaporated out of potentially embarrassment. I don't know. Get another one of you. And you know what we don't have? You know what? A mortar. A mortar. Sure. What are you doing? What are you doing? You've got a cannon. You've got some ogre balls. And that's it, apparently. That's that's your lot. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Let's see if Valkyria wants to come out to play. And if she does, I will kick her ass. Oh, look. They have bonded over their hatred of me. 
And they did. It says Valiant Defeat, but I feel like we've done, we've, we've dealt with worse, haven't we? We've dealt with worse. So you get that one. And I am going to give that. So you know what? I'm going to give that to Richard, I think. Now, the powers of chaos are weird and scary. But my main question is, how the fuck are the enemy reinforcements coming up a cliff? That is a big cliff. And they've definitely got a chariot in there somewhere. Yep, they've got Gorby's chariots. How the fuck did they get those up there? It's insane. Anyway, uh, we're sending Solostra to go and have a peek. He's probably not the best, best character to send. Probably should have sent Richard. That would have been a better character. Because I, I was going to try and do some magic, but then I realised I haven't given Slostra any magic yet. Uh, so Valkyria has attacked us. It's a brave move. It's a bold, bold play, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. There she is. Of course, one of the two corn lords, corn based lords that you can play at the moment. The other being Scarbrand, of course. But Valkyria has something that Scarbrand doesn't. That's right, boys. You know what I'm talking about. She has an absolutely cracking pair of wings. Yes, of course, Scarbrand. Uh, I mean, he does kind of have wings, but they don't really work. Valkyr, on the other hand, airborne, like a dove or a murderous bat with an angry horned lady attached to it. So, uh, Slastra is making, a, I'll say a beeline. It's more like a crab line for the exits. As Valkyr is hunting her. That's fine, because uh, here's our gun line. They might be looking at that gun line going, that's a, that's a good looking gun line. Um, it could be better, because it could be slightly further forward. As it is, uh, the, the boys don't have a particularly good view. And I didn't realise this until later into the battle. Uh, but yeah, their view is absolutely shit. If I just moved it forward. thing is, it's, it's very hard to tell. I mean, it looks okay from here. And it's not until you actually get down and go, oh wait, no, that's really bad, actually. That's a, that's a terrible place for him to be. So, uh, not not great, but, you know, that's fine. Slostra is making it, is just trying to get away. Trying to get away, but Valkyr is after her. Poking her with a big stick. Richard, on the other hand, racing to uh, to assist. We're going to hell the Discord up. We've got the Song of Enthrallment. She has uh, only 40 melee attack, which can... Considering how much a debuff she's got on her is, is very fucking impressive. Richard is buffing himself up. He has 68 melee attack and... Eight, oh, wait, no. Yep, 68 and 870 weapon strength. Which is not too bad. Valkyria debuffed even further. She only got six, no, 40 melee attack again. But she does have that fog. Mist of the fog of the... Doesn't matter. Anyway, Richard is 92 melee attack. He's, they're going at it. They're going at each other. And it's going to be close. I don't think Valkyria will have the upper hand just through sheer... I mean, she, she's a legendary lord. You would expect her to have a, an, an upper hand against, like, a... I don't want to say a bog-standard character, because Richard isn't a bog-standard character. But he is still just a, a, a hero, isn't he? And Valkyria is a legendary lord. But still, Richard is giving as good as he gets. He's getting in there. He's mashing her face. You know what? I genuinely think with some with some good hits and some luck, Richard really could have uh, won that engagement. But as it is, he will badly maul Valkyr before he has to get out of dodge. I mean, he's he's, he's basically killed her. She's down to two thousand hit points, and she's trying to regenerate. But now she's up in the air, and the guns have have spotted her, and she is taking a lot of flak. Looks like she is continuing to try and take down Slostra, but oh, too little too late. She's down. Killed by a sexy snake girl. On a chariot. Because why not? Okay, well, Valkyrie's already down and uh, the rest of her army is on its way. But fortunately for us, it's mostly trash. We faced worse than this and easily dispatched it. it. Does have some chosen there, though. Can do. Must be an explosion there, right on the chosen. We have a flanking attack. Chariots. 
making uh, making for the Mongols. The Mongols should actually do fairly well against that. Chaos Knight's also moving in. We do have uh, the Sirens on the flank there. Chariots now charging in, and uh, the, the Bloodrack Shrine actually doing considerable damage. I mean, I, I always thought they were fairly good, but... Did she just do two shots at once? Did you do two shots at once? You seem to have done two shots at once. Was that two shots? Come on, do another one. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Nah, it's just a one. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, weird. Oh. Okay, the Gorby's Chariot's charging through the Sirens, but that may not be a mistake for them. The Sirens actually dishing out a lot of hurts. Seventy-six. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eight. Yeah, you're definitely shooting multiple times. Which is weird. Uh does it say you do multiple attacks? That's weird. Alright. I'll take it. No matter. Slostra and the Chaos Giant are dueling. The damned questing knights and the sirens holding back a horde of Chaos Warriors on the right flank. The Sirens are struggling against Chaos Knights, but we do have some Zomble Pirate Deckhand mobs summoned in and coming from the rear. And Mary is also arrived to assist that flank against the threat of the Chaos Knights. Chariots managed to get into our gun line, but have been repulsed by the Bloody Reaver Deck Guards. That's it. Problem to death. You got this. You got this. Giant goes down to massed gunfire. And the Bloodrack Shrine is now in the mix because that's going to give a nice boost to all of the lads around us and also debuff everyone around us as well. So, uh, double whammy. Also pretty good at ramming people, apparently. The summon Knights do eventually go down. But I've, I've realised my guns are in a terrible position and we're moving up to be in a place where we can actually shoot people. It's quite useful when you have guns to, you know, have line of sight. Just, just FYI, little, little monsters abound tip there. Never, never let me said that this this channel isn't all about knowledge, education, education, putting your gun line where it can actually see the enemy. That's the third. It's a three-step plan. Anyway, finally the gunnery mobs are getting some shots off, but to be honest, the battle is over. But uh, we have summoned in more knights because the more of these guys we kill, the easier the follow-up battle to take Valkyr's last settlement is going to be. Jesus, I should get more sexy snakes. That's where the real that's, that's where the real killing power lies, isn't it? All right, well, Valkyr, unfortunately, you have played your hand, and uh, it was found wanting. Because... I could... Ooh. We don't have any smugglers' clothes, so that one... The Western Provinces is dead. What? The fuck killed them? The fuck? I don't think I've ever seen the Western Provinces wiped out before. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Do you think you can finish off the rest? You're capable of that. Oh, King of Nagarond will hear your words. Oh, gee, just take this city. Very well. I'm literally doing your words job for have you. Great power. The power over life and death. Have the glacial example. gardens. Jesus, you're gonna give me that much money for it. All right. I suppose. And Words I don't actually need Diagrax ends. I like how you example. gave me so much money for the glacial gardens. This one, you're like, nah, I just that much. Okay, did your job for you. There you go. Madam, I lost the dear no need to thank me. I mean, I could come back and, like, murder the the barbarians now, but I feel like Malekith should be quite a strong... Although, hello. 
That's concerning. You have caused untold harm. Mm -hmm. Don't think you can make up for it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, Lord. I am your head, Viladorn Kislev's battlements blasphemer. Ah, <sighs> oh, they need to Blood fix test. this. A timely arrival. They need to fix this. This, this main threat thing because tribal lake. I see all the world is meat for my grinder. It doesn't work. Nagarond is currently strength rank one, so that should mean that anyone who is like vaguely at war with him should should have him as the main threat because I'm strength rank twenty, right? And yet, In defenders of the glades. Tri I get the feeling woeful that, yeah, so even these guys, right? Here. What about what we'll about the Agol, just out of interest? Yes. Whichever woeful you know what, they do have Nagarond as the main threat. It ends. But it feels like it's not... All powerful it, it's a very, a very fragile balance between me just being the main threat or literally anyone else. And it's... Kind of like, guys, can you please, can you, can you please, 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 guys, please, guys, come on. I feel like I've got to have two armies, one here and one here, because that's where they like to land. I guess they'd like to land at Slaver's Point. It's because we've got defences everywhere else. And I'm assuming, mate, I wonder if it's something to do with, like, the walls thing. Because obviously they made it so that... Oh, do, do, defense, do, do cities that have level 2 defences not get walls anymore? I don't think they do. They get settlement battles, don't they? So this doesn't have a wall. So it's only main settlements that have walls now. And I'm wondering if maybe that's... Because it used to be... It used to be that the AI would kind of attack you unless you had walls, and then it would be kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do, so it didn't bother. And I'm wondering if maybe the fact they've taken away walls is is now made it so the AI is just, like, super aggressive because it can see settlements which don't have walls. And so therefore it's like, well, I can, I can attack that. I think that's it. That's the only thing I can think of. Because there's definitely... Something has changed. There has definitely been... Something. Something along the way has changed. And I... I don't think there was anything directly. So I'm, I'm going to guess it's maybe that. And that's just a pure... A pure just wild guess. A wild stab in the dark. But... I mean, we, we, we had a ludicrous amount of player bias at the beginning of Warhammer 3. That was, it was, it was way overtuned. To the point where you couldn't play as the Demon Prince. Because inevitably you would have the Wood Elves and Nordland just sail over to attack you as soon as you had a coastal settlement. Which, which was kind of mad. Uh, Mary, you don't actually need Replenish, do you? Because... Uh, I'll tell you what, I have a monkey jacket. I hear it's in this this time of year. Uh, so that is that is my guess potentially. I'm going to knock out the mung just because otherwise Malekith will just dick about. At least at least if his armies are in the middle of the sea, at least they'll be keeping stuff busy. They may not actually be doing anything useful, but they'll be keeping them busy, which is you know good. Uh, do I need this? I don't think I do, because we don't need the growth anymore. So if I knock that down. Knock that down. Let's do something like that. Yes, Lostro, I will. Um, I kind of want you to get her. Let's go you Fog of the Down. I want to get you some spells. Let's go Evasion. I've put this off, and I probably shouldn't have because I wanted, I wanted to reduce our upkeep, and then I was thinking about other things. So that's what I've been doing there. 
But if I if I can take out the Mung and then maybe the Akol as well, and then Malekith can kind of just like, I don't know, live his best life up here in the corner, losing his religion. Can you match my voice? Yeah, yeah, we get the idea. Um uh, Alright. All right, sure, why not? Oh, gods, he's got the sword of Cain. Stam the stashers, the thing, the blue viper, where the, wait, where the blue vipers? Where are they? Okay, hopefully no near me. Going, okay, let's go and take out the Mung, assuming that Malekith isn't going to do it himself. You guys are just gonna build stuff. How much money have we got coming in? Uh, a good amount. A good amount of money. I've got five turns for a pirate co, so no rush there, really. Uh, putting it at Marienburg seems like a sensible option. Plus, they're going to get the Marienburg port fairly soon, which actually doesn't make as much money as it used to. Shame. Oh, well. Uh, as soon as Solostra is sort of out of here, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of like come along. We'll take out the Mung, and then I'll sort of travel along here, take these guys out. And then once she's out of that, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to sail around kicking the shit out of people. That's right. Writing, writing movie singing songs and fighting around the world, finally. So, let's get... Felbats, deck droppers, that's not that useful. Raise dead cost, meh. Upkeep reduction for a bunch of stuff. You know what? Sure. What is your demand? What is your favourite colour? Okay, you're fine. You're upgrading in six turns. We'll need some money to upgrade some docks. Yeah. But that's okay. I do not care about your war. Do not go. Oh, hello. Didn't realise you were there. Do you want to fight the Mung for me? So I can smack you when you say something I don't. I'm tempted to threaten you and then fight both of you. But let's not let's let's not make my life harder than it already has to be. Let's not do that to myself. Uh do I want to you know what I'm just gonna watch this. There we go. And I'm gonna raise it. Oh, we got the short victory. Bosh. There we go. Thought short victory is completed. Good. I mean, so so. I mean, what what I what I wanted to do was just send Solostra sailing around, fighting different people, setting up pirate coves. What I had to do was kick the shit out of Sigvald and Valkyr. Not because I wanted to, but because if I didn't, they would send armies at me forever. I feel like that's kind of a problem. I mean, it's fine. We won, theoretically. Um, but I want the long victory. So we need, we need 25,000 in for me. We need to climb the ranks, which we're doing. We're, we're six now. Uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's good. Orders. Yes. When can you upgrade your thing? Not any time reasonably soon. Tell you what you're going to do. Dropping. You're going to sit there. You are going to... You know what? Actually. I have sailed the world. Do we have anything? No. So what I want to do... Is get some... Is get some buildings. Uh, Hotex... I mean, I could go grab Hotex Column, actually, couldn't I? Do I... Do I... I don't need it, though. Do I? I don't need... I, 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 I want to go and get it to complete the set, right? Gotta catch them all. But, actually, do I do I need them? No. No. No, I don't. Uh, what's your... Is, are you the... Are you the... You're the weapon strength lad. So, actually, I... You know what? Changed my mind. Let's go for this, because what we want is the depth guards. And I'm guessing with your weapon strength bonuses and stuff, you may actually make them semi-decent. We can hope. Alright. 
That is fine. Yeah, you're not moving. You're just staying there. Daisy, you're there for the next four turns. Then we're putting a cove in Marienburg and making a little bit more money. Approach the Madame Captain. Hello, Malachith. What's up? You want me to join your war? Mate, mate, mate. All right. You know what? Fine. Fine. I will join your war. So northern, the northern provinces are still... Oh, God, not dwarves. Oh, anything but dwarves. Which means that what's-his-face is going to spawn around here, isn't he? Where does he spawn? Somewhere dwarf-sounding, isn't it? Iron Frost? Does he spawn down here? Where the fuck does he spawn? Oh, I'm going to have to go and deal with that. Also, I better kill these orcs, otherwise they'll be a problem as well. Oh, you are not killing my Morgals. Well, at least we spotted the Greenskin Hordes. And to be honest, killing them now, probably going to save us some pain later. I feel like if any faction has only got one settlement, just kill them. Doesn't matter who they are. It's the better option. Just wipe them out, and they can't threaten you later on. The strategy of a sociopath. And yet, that seems like the optimal play to play Total War. Yeah, the sexy siren is definitely... Should she be buying twice? Three times a snake lady. Four times number of times. Anyway, uh, so we're getting some good shots off, taking out those savage or I... Oh, the blood rack shrine is... Hubba hubba. Am I right, boys? Girls? All... Who doesn't love a sexy snake? Everyone. Everyone loves sexy snakes. That's just a fact. This is the, this is the problem, savage orcs. If you don't have any armor, you know, gunshots will hurt. Savage Orcs charging down the hill towards us. Or at least trying to. Oh, the, the Blood Rack Shrine just getting so many kills. We do have quite a blob on our right flank with literally just Richard fighting it. Gonna hit him with a... Death Wind. Which is gonna do a lot of damage. It, was, it, was, it wasn't overcast. If that had been overcast, that would have been absolutely devastating. That would have been devastated. Savage Orcs taking an absolute beat. The, the archers were the real main main threat because uh, if they focus fire on something, they probably can take it down. And they were trying to take down the Blood Rack Shrine, but just wasn't enough, was it, boys? Getting shot to pieces, blasted by artillery. And their general is now fleeing. It was never going to be a long battle, but it was a necessary one. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to raise it again. That's delicious that infamy. Infamy, infamy. You. They've all got it in for me. Uh, I am actually going to get Van Geist's Revenge. Sing the songs of death. Uh, you're, a tick, you're a tick boy, so I don't need to worry about you. Good. Good-o. Right. Anyone heading in this direction? Nope. We're safe for the moment. May wonders it. never cease. And we want to build that one, don't we? Yes, we do. Admiral of the fleet. Let's get the. Did we? Did we build the up? Oh, we did build the upkeep production. Yes, that's fine. Uh, pirate growth. Yes, always useful. And you know what? More more campaign movement range. Also. Admiral legitimately always useful. There's never a bad reason. There's never a, 
a good reason not to have more campaign movement range. And you are, to, to be honest, I don't need that, so I'm going to knock that down. Upgrade that. I mean, do do we actually want that? I, You know what? I'm going to say no. The... Often Promethean Gunnery Mop. You know what? You know what? I'm going to say, let's not get them. I'm going to say what we actually want is... The tide is... Okay. Uh, is some more Mongols. Do I want to... Ugh, I'm kind of, like, happy with my army, though. I kind of like it. You know what? I'm going to get rid of one of these guys. Silostra. And I'm going to get... A Mongol. Two turns of recruitment. Fuck me. Like, they're not that fucking good. But okay. All bones on deck. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Let's go freebooter for you, because more money is always good. We still have three turns for a pirate cove. You're not moving anywhere because... I'm not entirely sure Nakari's not going to send more shit our way. It does look like Nakari has lost ground. So, you know, sending stuff at me, not, not generally the best option, I guess. What a surprise. Who could have seen that one coming? Okay, a little confederation there. Not my concern. Uh, oh, yeah, you're still recruiting, aren't you? Hello? You think not what? I'm going to guess you're probably heading for Slaver's Point, but I could be wrong. So you know what, meander over here. We'll do that and we will await his arrival. In the meantime, reanimated marksman is always useful. I kind of want to get the depth guard there, so let's do that one. So I've got seven turns on the research. Have I, I haven't equipped people for ages. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? What have we got? We got and do I do I have any auxiliaries? That's not really that useful. Nope. Okay, good. That's fine. Uh, let's fuse that shit. We got. We haven't really actually got obsidian amulets. Are literally the worst. So fuse a wailing banner. Wow. Fear and terror. Oof, if only I had something in my army that could do that! Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that. What's that make us? Captain Roth's Moon Dial. What does that do? Campaign movement range, summons a unit. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give that to you. Give you armors of silver, armor of silvered steel. Do we want to give you a dawnstone? You know what? Sure. Let's do that. What does Sheridan have? Sheridan has nothing. But we don't really. I mean, we can have a trickster shards, I guess. We can have a channeling staff. I mean, that's kind of meh. An iron curse icon. Sure, there you go. Let it never be said. I don't give you anything. In three turns, I'm going to need something to give me more, well, enough money to build thingy-majigs. We've already got that. Let's build the money there. Uh, it's only 200, but I'll take it. Oh, I could get two of the first mates. I'm not going to bother. And I would like, I mean, a rotting leviathan. They're all right. I don't know if I, 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 they, I, I'm sure I had one army where I had literally like five rotting leviathans as my front line. I wouldn't say that's necessarily the best option, but it certainly was int fun. Interesting? Well, it certainly was. I could get this as well, but to be honest, it's kind of shit. Oh, you know what I do need to do? I need to do the fucking quest battle, don't I? Why did no one remind me? Uh, I mean, the magic item we get for it isn't that good. But, may as well. Who? Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, I guess I should have seen that one coming. I like how I said I am Malekith's only friend. And to be honest, I don't even like the bastard that much. So, we might have some, uh, well, to be honest, they don't look that problematic. They'll probably just get their ass kicked. I think Malekith can probably deal with them. I just need to know where what's his face spawns, so that when he spawns, I can go and kick the shit out of him before he becomes too strong. Where the where, where, oh that army went just disappeared, did it? All right. Serve for eternity. I mean, I'm not that invested in in it. What I want to do is send these guys sailing. I mean, maybe I should just do that. To be honest, their armies are a bit naff though. What I need is like. Actual decent recruitment. That's what I'm aiming for. So we can now get the depth guard. The depth guard with pole arms are better, aren't they? They're just better. They're just literally. Uh, well, these guys actually have slightly more weapon strength. But these guys have armor piercing, which is, to be honest, far more useful. Um, but we can't get those guys. So you know what? Let's just get some. The sea brings death. Indeed. So let's get rid of you guys. And... Two fucking turns! Not even that useful! They're not that good! Come on, guys! They're not... I mean, they're not that... I could... Oh, Alright. Rapid decomposition. Oh. Great. Just, just like, just a slap in the face, and yeah, less, less of that bullshit. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of you. Um, I'm gonna recruit you. What else? What else do I like? Um, we could maybe go for like some more, maybe less guns in this army and like more melee units, because you do just give like general better. Better melee attacks, don't you? Uh, weapon strength and physical resistance. Yeah, so... I might just go in for, like... Increase my killing power, eh? Something like that. And hello. Not your shadow. Hello, Bellacor. Hello, Bellacor. What would be good against Bellacor? Um... Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of those, those guys. Going to get more of the hand cannons. Those guys are just always good. And... Ah, hello. Where the fuck are you coming from? What? Where? Where did you go? Where are you coming from? What? Oh, sh Shut up, you raspy bastard. Strength rank 17. Really? I mean, Nagron is strength rank 1. And I'm not surprised. I've been giving him all that. He's got 22 settlements. Mind you, so is the Reichlands. And I haven't been helping them. Oh, hello. My ice age comes. Oh, I don't have the money now. I spent it all on... On depth guards. What is your demand? I spent all my money on depth guards. They do have 89... Weapon strength, though. Holy shit. And that is a lot of weapon strength. Yikes. Um, can we do any allied recruitment? Probably could. You know what? Get rid of these guys. Get, get the fuck out of here. All in More sexy snakes. I believe that sexy snakes are the answer. The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Sexy snakes. Okay, we'll wait for Bellacor. And then once we've killed Bellacor, I think I'm going to send Tutos Adley out into the world with Sheridan once he's finished recruiting. And we're going to leave Solostra to... I mean, poor old Solostra. She's just been she's been doing all the hard work. She's she's murdered Sigvald and Valkyr when Malekith was, you know, woefully unprepared to do... What the fuck? I'll ignore that. The fuck? Have you, why have you got two armies? I'll ignore that. I won't. What the fuck are you doing? You can't recruit more shit. Stop it. What are you doing? Not likely. Oh, God. 
Oh, that's a concern. I might have to go and hunt them down. Jeez. All right. Well, we're, we're, we're closing on the second verse of the of the sea shanty, which is is good. But we've got some problems in some places. But at least Valkyr and Sigvald are dead. So that's, that's something. But that's going to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.